Hello there, this is Naomi Dawn and I wanted to show you my latest design team make for www.fernydesigns.com um, Oh, where do we start? Okay, on Saturday morning I saw a picture of a carriage and that inspired me to make a carriage so obviously I had to do my strange take on things but I like doing that, it's part of the challenge and this is what I made uh, where to start? Okay, um, the main part of my carriage is the Fernley chest but I haven't used the hinges so I'll show you around that a bit later on I'll show you around the outside and then I'll show you what I've done to make it a little bit different um, Okay, I started off with the main chest which I painted red it's not my usual colour, I think there's one called Opulent And then what I did was I created this seat here. Now that I've used corners type 8 and one of the domino blanks here to make the seat. That was really easy to do. That was painted red and then I've used gilding wax to accent that. Uh, the next thing that I did was I added um, the arch one to either end of my roof again and um, the roof was painted red I don't know if you can see and then I've gilded and sealed with Mod Podge the arch before sticking that on um, I've used two different sizes of cogs so I've got the larger cogs at the back and the smaller cogs at the front I've made those be matching ones that's my wheel, so this is static wheels, they won't turn. This is one of the old stone frames, you get a pack of four, this is the smallest one. So I've gilded the door, again I've sealed it with bodge pod and um, the frame. Sealed that with bodge podge. The door was painted red and then I've inked around the edge with um, black soot. And I've used just basically a biro, well, a fibre tip biro and a ruler. Bring that in a bit to make the lines on the door. I hope this isn't too blurry. And I've stuck a, um, just a small foam pad on this side. See, so it looks like the door's a jar. A jar. That's fully in on that side. Okay. I'll explain about these bits in a minute around the front again so this is where I stuck my seat on right, round to the other side again you've got your cog wheels these are square tiles they're actually the scrabble tiles again they've been gilded and sealed in Mod Podge and I've done those to represent windows and round here at the back so you notice there's no hinges here so I've covered the holes but there's no hole here I'll show you why in a minute so at the back you've got your arch one that I showed you before and you've got the iron vents and I've actually cut the spokes off of the top so and then that sits flush so let me take the lid off so that sits flush and you can just see there where I've cut them off and I've just used a nail file or an emery board actually to smooth that down before I added the gilding wax so the whole thing's um, red and gold I have inked around all of the edges with black soot and then there's little touches of gilding wax as you go around now the reason that I um, sealed all of my gold with um, Mod Podge is because I find I get gets a gilding wax on my fingers afterwards sometimes and I believe they do, certain makes of gilding wax do make a sealant but I've never bought it, I haven't tried it so I can't really tell you about that. Okay, these little bits, so those here, and again here, you can see there's actually two bits of wood there. I asked the very nice Mr G if he could save me the offcuts from the fence, the iron fence. So that's what these little flourishes are. I just put them back to back and stuck them there. And what that does is 
this piece here covers the hole from the hinge and one of the little handle holes and then this flourish here covers those two holes there and what my long term plan for this is is to get some wadding and some black satiny fabric to um, do out the inside of the box I haven't got that available at the moment and I probably won't do that till after Christmas and I don't really want to hold this up so I wanted to show it to you now with my lid I stuck it together as usual painted it red and you'll see the holes are at the top now those are the ones you usually put the hinges in it didn't really matter where I put them because I was covering it in um, lace but I decided I'd have them at the top for mine and again I'm going to fill, um, put a layer of wadding in here um, just in the arch bit not on here and cover that in the black satiny fabric so as much as I won't use that part it will just cover up the holes okay so my um, lace is actually that width and you can just see see what the shiny bits are I used red tape three strips here um, I need to find a better way of putting that on but it worked all right and then I've hot glued some trim here Let's see what I've turned under this bit here is from the door handle that I bought but it was really heavy the central knob that goes on there so I switched it out for one of the Tim Holtz knobs so just to take you back through what I've used you've got the Fernley Design chest corners type 8 and that's what I've used here and to make the seat here there's the domino blank on top which is the seat you've got the iron fence which is at the back You've got arch one, which is at both ends of the lid. You have the old style frame with the insert that I've used to make the door. I forgot to mention I've got a flat back hole there. But I think it's fairly obvious. The wheels are four of the cogs from the mixed bag of cogs. Best things you can buy. From, well, from a steampunk point of view I use a lot of cogs and I use them for all sorts of things and they are these are great foils and uh, what else did I use and I use the scrabble tiles at the back okay there are a lot of things that you can do with the friendly chest this is just one idea um, oh, I, I've got loads of plans I'm gonna do another one soon um, it'll have to wait till after Christmas because you know what Christmas is like <laughs> okay so I'll stop babbling this is my chest that I turned into a carriage kinda <laughs> okay one of the things I would like to do with this before I fill it, put the fabric in is work out how to get the lid to fit so that it comes on and off and doesn't slide off to the sides so if I do that I'll do another video later on for that mm, that bit needs trimming okay if you haven't already looked at Fernley Designs look I'll put a link at the bottom it's www.fernleydesigns.com if you don't already know about it have a look on Facebook they have a group there in the group you can see all of the design team makes and the guest design team makes there's a monthly competition where if you enter a picture of something you've made using their products you go into a prize draw and it's a random draw so anybody can win regardless of your level of crafting that will win you some free goodies so that's great to do it's a good laugh in the group and um, people are very encouraging so it's a great place to be anyway that's enough of me for now talk to you soon bye